With season 21, we left off with Sir, the Sir Toby Moore case, which was the conclusion of the season opener. That wasn't supposed to be our season finale, but it turned out that it was. And uh, he, he, he delays the trial and, you know, things don't go our way. And then this season we're picking up uh, post-COVID, post a lot of things that have happened uh, um, culturally in the United States. And we start with a, a case of uh, an African-American man um, getting accused of a crime. Uh, and then it, 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 goes, it goes from there. So it, it starts with a lot of tension right from the start. And uh, you see a lot of different characters' point of views. And it's, um, you know, it starts with a bang. For uh, what you can expect from my character, I think in this season you're really seeing um, my character take on more of the role of he's, he's the lawyer now, he's in the district attorney's office, and um, that is a different position where I think last season you might have seen him kind of more torn. He was Am I a cop, I have these sympathies, but I also have this job. I think this time he's firmly getting rooted in the, the culture of the district attorney's office, which oftentimes puts him um, at, at odds with, with the squad. With Jamie, you know, she was, was there all, all, all last year for the most part. And, uh, you know, she brings like a very, a very youthful energy uh, to, the, to the scenes and to the squad and even to the, you know, the dressing room is, with us as a, uh, as a cast. I think um, everybody else has kids, you know, but she, she, she doesn't. And it's this, you know, so it's kind of like she, she's hipper on the lingo than the rest of us. Um, and I think she brings that on and off the set to the, to the, the squad room. And then Damore, who I couldn't have been happier uh, that he was made a series regular. I, I love Damore. I think he's such a talented actor and he's such a kind of a, a rooted voice of authority in uh, the, the squad. And I think he, he is gonna open us up to tons of different perspectives. I think it really does give not just a voice to the voiceless, but I think it also opens up the, the ears and the hearts of people that might not have been affected by this to other people. I think what used to be maybe a taboo conversation, our, our show has definitely helped bring that to the forefront and say this is acceptable to talk about. And it's not just acceptable, it's, it's, it's necessary. So I think um, that that is a, a very important part of what this show has played in, in, in terms of, of the culture of, of this country and even broader. Um, and to it being timeless, you know, again, that's kind of an unfortunate truth, but these things seem to be, um, not seem to be, but absolutely are happening and keep happening, whether it's, you know, the most mundane case and or it's you know a, a gross abuse of power or something sensational, you kind of see time and time again these things keep arising. So you know we're gonna keep hammering on to uh, to bring more attention to this and and to call it out where it needs to be.